If x and y are uniformly distributed random variables in the range 0 to 1, then what is the distribution of their sum z equals to x plus y? This question has been covered in many other videos and uh, tutorials in the web, and mostly they use the convolution equation. As you can see, the convolution equation can be quite complicated or it can look complicated and uh, people can be a little bit put off by it. So I'll try to provide a more intuitive explanation of what's going on here. And let's see if that works for you. First, if you actually solve this, then uh, if you put in for fx and fy this uniform function, you'll get something like a triangular distribution where uh, at 0 the probability is very low, at 1 uh, the probability is highest, and at 2 the probability is again back to 0. So this uniform distribution going from 0 to 1 in this case. To explain how we get there, I will try a succession of discrete cases. First, consider two simple coin flips and add the result. Let tails be 0 and heads be 1. So we can have tails and tails, tails and heads, heads and tails, or heads and heads. So the sum will be 0, 1, 1, and 2. So there are a total of four different possibilities and you'll get a sum of 0 a quarter of the time, a sum of 2 a quarter of the time, and a sum of 1 half the time. Now consider two four-way dices that can take values of 0, one third, two third, and one. There are a total of four times four, 16 combinations, some of which are not unique. For example, uh, one by three and uh, two by three might be uh, similar to two by three and one by three if you consider the sum. So there are actually only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven unique sums and as you can see the extreme sums appear only once while the mid sum that is one appears four times and the uh, other sums appear three times or two times so the uh, closer to the extreme you are the less uh, chances of occurrence and the closer to the middle you are the greater the chances of occurrence so hopefully i've convinced you that no matter how finely you divide the space between zero and one uh, if you divide it equally um, for two cases and then add the two variables together what you'll get is you'll get, when you add them together, you'll tend to get the center, the one value most of the time, while very rarely you'll get either zero or two, um, the minima or the maxima, and the in-between values will be linearly um, related in terms of probabilities. So what you'll end up with is this triangular function where you'll get one, um, the maximum number of times, and the extreme, zero and two, the minimum number of times, and the other values you'll get somewhere in between what you'll get for one and what you'll get for zero or two, and the slope of this line will be linear. So thanks for watching this video. Hope it was useful. Uh, please leave any comments or suggestions or mistakes that you find uh, notes below. Thank you.